It's evangelism aimed at an audience that preachers may not be reaching. We have to win this young hip-hop generation for Jesus Christ, and what we use is hip-hop music. Our music needs to change. Somebody doesn't want to be a player. Somebody don't want to be a thug. Somebody wants to live right. See ya! Help us reach a lost generation before it's too late. Just think if half the rappers in the industry that go to church, just think if their pastors taught them how to live holy. Just think if the pastors taught them how to live God's word. There would be a change in the music. There would be a change in the music. Parents, parents, I know. Sometimes you hear the, the, the words and the language and this music and you're like, what is my child listening to? What is this junk? I know that's what you're thinking. I know that's what you're saying. It's, it's, it's that beat and it's that delivery. That's what it is. It's the beat, it's the music, and it's the delivery of the artist that's performing on that music. Because all kids don't listen to all rap. I mean, this is a youth section right now. If I got a microphone that just went throughout the entire section and said, who do you think is a good rapper and a whack rapper? They would all have different opinions. I mean, I'll show you right now. How many of y'all listen to Tupac? Y'all listen to Biggie Small? Where my Nelly fans at? Okay, see? Now, 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 if you notice, there were some hands that weren't raised. Y'all like Master P? Wasn't that many hands. Y'all feeling Jay-Z? Did you see a, a, a difference in the response? So they're not listening to the music just for the profanity because all the rappers that I mentioned cuss. Yet when I mentioned some of them, they didn't raise their hands. So it's not about the profanity. They're not listening to rap so they can listen to profanity. Because as I said before, they can go to school for that. Matter of fact, y'all can go to church for that, huh? <laughs> I, you know, so it's... it's, it's about that but it's the, it's, the, it's the beat and it's the delivery well on the gospel rap side of the equation there's not a lot of that there's not a lot of good beats and good delivery so therefore a lot of times you know you pastor or their parents might have found something say you know what I, I, I was at a conference there was a rapper there I bought a CD home I figured you might like it and a lot of times they don't like it because it's not that, that beat and that delivery isn't there. And see, that's what grabs them. Now, unfortunately, the ones that have the good beats, and the ones that have the delivery, they're secular rappers. They're the ones selling all the records. And they've got the videos. They have the concerts. And sometimes your kids want to go to those concerts, don't they? And you're a little edgy. Well, I don't know who's going. I, I know it's hard for some of you to just let them listen to it. Because you don't want your kids listening to filthy language. And we just read in the Bible, Colossians 3.8, filthy language is not of God. Degradation of women, that's not of God. Degradation of men, that's not of God. Fornication, that's not of God. Substance abuse, that's not of God. Getting drunk, that's not of God. But all of that in, 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 in one way or another is, is, is projected in hip-hop from male or female artists in some way. None of that subject matter is of God. Word of God has something to say about all of that. kids are just not gonna stop right now listening to that music it's not gonna just happen overnight it's gonna take some time and really 
unless there is an alternative. Unless there is something else that they can listen to. The secular aspect of it is it's going to be here for a very long time. And all the negativity that goes with it. And your Christian children are going to listen to this music until there is an alternative. This is Cheryl. I'm in Denver, and God has just blessed you. Thank you so much. This is Joshua. Oh, my goodness, you blessed me with that broadcast. You don't know how you blessed me. And this is something you can battle the world with, man. I showed this to one of the pastors. They love it. My name is Bruce. I just want to say thank you, sir. I really love these sermon songs. I have all you want to tell Pastor Jones and Crepo and all them. Basically, man, I just want to tell you that this has been a blessing in my life. I know sermon songs and life radio and all that stuff is bumping, and you getting your fur. But, man, it was a watch the way you come out here on the West Coast. For real.